Hey YouTube, people have obviously head back once again with another review for you guys. Sat on the balcony once again here on holiday in Sandbanks, and today I've got another spicy cheese for you. This is Red Devil, and this is what it looks like. It's got this lovely wax job on the outside, nice orangey kind of colour, and you can see flecks of chilli in there as well, so that's pretty cool. I'm afraid I don't have the ingredients for this for this one, guys. Um, it just came like this in a little plastic packet with no ingredients listed on there, so unfortunately I can't tell you exactly what's in there, other than the fact that it will be spicy. Uh, once again, I'm going to be having it with these red hot chili packets that you may have seen on a previous video of mine. Uh, these are from the Fine Cheese Co. And you can get these at www.finecheese.co.uk. Uh, and they are kind of what they look like that. Little diagram, and it says that they're meant for cheddar on the side. The cheese is from this lovely deli in Westbourne on the south coast uh, called Badger and Bumble. So I'll put the little link down the bottom as usual. They do some fantastic campers. Uh, things for chilli heads as well, you know, they have a hot sauce, they have spicy cheeses, jams, crackers, all kinds of stuff. So if you want to check them out, get yourself a nice hamper for a little treat and you won't be disappointed. So these are the little crackers. You may have seen these on a previous video, video that I did for Badger and Bumble. This is what they look like, they look great. I'm just going to cut myself off a piece of this cheese here. Nice, generous little portion. I'm just going to try it first without the crackers and then I'll try it with. Mm. The cheese is lovely and creamy. It's kind of a, a bit like a red leftover, I would say. That's the cheese it's probably very similar to. A little bit oniony, a little bit garlicky as well, and that kind of, those kind of notes coming through. And then you do get a little bit of a chili kick. It's not as strong as the afterburn cheese, which I tried uh, yesterday, which you may have seen me review. If not, go check it out. It's not quite as strong as that, it's more of a mild burn. Uh, it goes for the back of the throat. Not really in the mouth at all. The afterburn is actually quite strong in terms of the chili, but uh, this one's a bit milder, I'd say. Most people would be able to handle this. So I'm just going to try it with a little bit of cracker and see how we get on. Those crackers definitely bring an extra kick to the whole thing. You do get more of the tongue burn once you have it with the crackers, definitely. You won't be disappointed. Let's try a little bit more. We've got some down rocking in the background, you're able to hear. A little bit of down. Riff, man, riff. It's a great cheese, dude. It's a great cheese. Lovely, creamy, like a red leather. Hints of onion, hints of garlic, and then bam. Hints at the back of the throat. Nice little kick of chilli. I'd say about 2 out of 10 on the heat scale. Chilli heads don't find it too challenging, but you, will, you won't be disappointed. You will be satisfied. Most spicy cheeses I find quite mild, especially the ones that you get in the supermarket. This one won't disappoint. So, hey. Go check it out. Red Devil from Badger and Bumble. It's pretty good stuff. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you later. Very soon with another review. Thanks for watching.